This place is located in the United States, and here, the authorities do something very strange. It started in 2020 when the demand for oil dropped sharply due to the coronavirus pandemic. The oil that no one wanted to buy had to go somewhere, and all the storage tanks meant for it began filling up quickly. There was too much surplus, especially since oil was still being extracted, and producers even paid buyers to take the oil off their hands. Who knows what it would have led to if industrialists hadn't come up with the idea? Why not just pump oil back into the ground? The idea is really amazing. But first, coffee. Also, an unobtrusive reminder to hit the like button if you forget to do it at the end of the video. So first off, it's important to note that the world's superpowers already keep huge oil reserves in safe caves and tanks all over the world. This isn't exactly a new scheme that was invented in 2020. In the US alone, in four unassuming locations, about 700 million barrels of oil are stored underground. There are 60 underground caverns carved out of rock salt below the surface. Together, they form a giant strategic petroleum reserve of the U.S. It was created more than 40 years ago, and since then, similar warehouses have appeared all over the world. Actually, many countries have invested billions of dollars in developing such facilities, and their numbers are increasing. For example, in Japan, you can find a number of places where large tanks hold more than 500 million barrels of oil. These are above-the-ground tanks, though. In Great Britain, there's a requirement for the industry to keep oil at their current facilities beyond their usual storage, just because there isn't a proper site to create a separate oil reserve. Instead of creating centralized storage tanks, companies quietly store oil and the government can access it at any time if necessary. In recent years, India and China have also invested in their own strategic oil reserves. China even wants to set up reserves similar to those of the U.S., but the Chinese don't have the luxury of salt caverns. Instead, they have to go with much more expensive above-the-ground storage and tanks. These facilities are even visible on maps. Rows of big white dots. These are numerous oil tanks located near a couple of oil refineries. In general, no contemporary superpower can manage without a strategic oil reserve. It's similar to a financial safety net. Just, it's oil. However, reserves are not only found in countries that can be described with the cool word superpower. Almost all states have their own oil reserves or plan to create them in the near future, the only difference being their volume. Furthermore, the establishment of oil reserves is regulated as well. In the European Union, for instance, member countries must maintain a strategic oil reserve within the EU that covers at least 90 days of average domestic use. To put it simply, if anything were to occur, each nation should have enough oil for three months. And this rule exists not only in the EU, the International Energy Agency is an organization that emerged within the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It requires that each country within the organization have emergency oil reserves. These reserves must reach at least 90 days worth of net imports. In short, all the same three months. Altogether, these storage facilities are called Global Strategic Oil Reserves. What about the U.S. Reserve? How long will these 700 million barrels last? Actually, even though the number sounds impressive, the reserve is not meant for the scenario where all the oil on the planet suddenly disappears. This is an extremely unlikely scenario, so no one's preparing for it. If the planet's oil reserves start to deplete, it'll happen gradually. In 2021, the United States consumed about 19.89 million barrels of oil per day on average, so the total reserve would last for about a month, maybe a bit more. But there are also additional constraints. The rate at which oil can be pumped out of the reservoir is strictly regulated and can't be more than the established limit, which is 4.4 million barrels per day. So emptying the reserve completely would take around 160 days. Meanwhile, there would always be a catastrophic shortage of oil. In short, not the most pleasant scenario. But there are also global reserves. In 2004, the member countries of the International Energy Agency held 4.1 billion barrels of oil. And that's not the entire world supply. The agency includes not the whole world, but only these countries shown on the map. There are 31 member countries and 13 associated countries. Altogether, they represent 75% of global energy demand. Global oil consumption is about 0.1 billion barrels per day. This means that the total global reserve of 4.1 billion barrels would last only 41 days, a month and a bit more. This doesn't sound good, but I'll console you. Although no natural oil reserves on the planet are expected to last about 50 years, oil itself will probably never run out. 
there's no point in preparing for its complete disappearance, humanity will just find other deposits. And then I realized I was confused. If no one expects that oil will disappear completely, why would anyone set up backup storage, burying it in the ground? The answer lies in the 1973 energy crisis. As a result, we face the possibility of temporary fuel shortages and some increases in fuel prices in America. Back then, Arab oil exporters cut off the West from their supplies. That was a purely political decision, and I don't want to delve into politics. We're only interested in the consequences. After losing oil supplies from the Middle East, the world came to understand just how dependent it was on them. Prices soared through the roof, and at American gas stations, they began dispensing fuel to people in very restricted quantities. In some areas, gas vanished completely, and people had to defend their cars with weapons to keep the fuel they had left. A few years later, the U.S. began building its strategic reserve by filling those same salt caverns with crude oil, and if oil supplies were seriously disrupted again, the U.S. would have the chance to weather price spikes and ease pressure on global markets. The idea looks pretty neat, but at the same time, it's damn expensive. In 2015, maintaining the oil reserve cost the country $200 million. The total value of the U.S. oil reserves is estimated at about $43.5 billion. And since the government keeps preparing for the worst, the reserves seem to just keep growing. You never know. Since the emergency oil reserve was created, there have been just three urgent situations when it was used. This first happened during the first Gulf War. At that time, oil supplies to the Middle East were disrupted. The second case was connected to Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Within 24 hours after the storm hit land, emergency oil delivery requests were approved. The last time reserves were used was in 2011 when President Barack Obama put 30 million barrels of oil into the global market in response to disruptions in production in Libya. Well, now that we figured out the why part, it's time to see what it all actually looks like. The strategic oil reserve is stored along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico in Texas and Louisiana. To hold all these millions of barrels, 500 salt domes are used. They look something like this, and the choice of surrounding material isn't random. Salt is impervious to crude oil, which means it not only doesn't seep anywhere, but also doesn't blend or decompose. It just remains oil, a perfect storage designed by nature itself. If you find yourself on the surface directly above the storage tanks, there won't be much to see. Just a few well bores and pipelines. The well bores go hundreds of feet down and can pump oil underground at high pressure. Water's used to get the oil out by displacement. But before you pump oil underground, you first need to make the reservoir for it. Salt caverns are made by drilling a well into a natural underground salt formation between layers of sedimentary rock. This is what's called a salt dome. Once drilling's done, water's pumped in to dissolve the salt, and then the salty water's pumped out again. It's not known where it goes, but underground there's a vacant space that can be filled with natural gas or other oil products. These salt caves can be big enough to fit a 110-story skyscraper inside. After all, we're talking about places that store huge amounts of oil. True, this almost perfect salt cavern has a downside. The salt caves aren't entirely stable. Sometimes parts of the walls or ceilings can collapse, which leads to damage to the equipment that needs to be carefully replaced. But workers can't enter the salt cave even if they wanted to. It's simply not possible, so everything has to be done remotely. However, the same thing happens when extracting oil from a natural well, so nothing really new here. But there's another problem. There isn't much space left in these underground salt caverns. And the oil problem that came up in 2020 hasn't gone away. In the end, producers requested permission from government regulators to store oil and gas in unconventional geological formations, and they were granted it. Hydrocarbons can be stored outside of conventional salt caverns for up to five years. So the time's up in 2025. This is a huge risk. Historically, storing hydrocarbons outside of salt caverns has been banned to prevent groundwater contamination. Oil products can easily leak and contaminate nearby drinking water sources, but the situation was considered an emergency. And yet, environmental observers immediately got concerned. Nine major aquifers stretch across Texas, where they provide 60% of the state's water. Due to the unique composition of some geological formations, oil and even natural gas, which is buried underground near these aquifers, can seep into them, and that's it. The water will be contaminated. Moreover, the oil extraction industry has been polluting groundwater even before. In 2018, around 630 cases of groundwater contamination related to total petroleum hydrocarbons were discovered. The process of drilling oil and gas wells causes some kind of pollution practically every day, 
spills, leaks, and even explosions. And when companies pump oil back into the ground, they double the risks tied to extraction. Moreover, underground oil storage once caused damage to an entire city in Texas, even though it was stored according to all the rules in a salt dome. The community on the hill, known as Barber's Hill, grew from a small village into an industrial zone with empty lots and rundown buildings. The town had been around since 1840, but it was entirely demolished, all due to drilling oil and gas wells. Beneath the hill where the town was located were massive salt caves, and they were perfect for storing oil products. Since the 1950s, when oil started to run out, caves were used for storing volatile hydrocarbons, and in the 1970s, the storage expanded significantly. In the end, the heart of the city and about a third of its 1,700 residents were above 100 million barrels of oil. It just couldn't end well. The first signs of trouble appeared as early as 1958, when an explosion flattened a building. Then there were other incidents like a gas leak and a fire in 1970 and an explosion of a train car in 1976. In 1980, thousands of barrels of hydrocarbons began leaking toward the city after a pipeline burst. There were new incidents, new explosions, new casualties. The situation became so grim that by early 1986, the city sent out a message saying people faced serious danger and possible death if they moved in. Because, among other problems, oil had seeped into the aquifers along with salt. In short, things could have turned out really bad. And it was in safe salt caves. In 1992, a pipeline leak feeding an underground storage of liquefied petroleum gas caused an explosion near Brenham, Texas. As a result of the explosion, one person was killed and another 13 were injured. Besides, several houses were left in ruins at a distance of 1.2 to 1.8 miles from the blast epicenter, and the hilly pastures were scorched. About 50 buildings also suffered serious damage. The explosion was so powerful that it shook buildings 70 miles from Houston and was heard 140 miles away. Well, the reason is simple. Gas, apparently, leaked from a pipeline feeding an underground salt cavern, and then boom. Temporary Oil Home The Australian government plans to spend $94 million on creating crude oil reserves, but at first the fuel will be stored in the United States. To secure the country in case of serious disruptions, it was decided to set up an oil reserve and do this while oil prices are still low. But since Australia doesn't have its own storage facilities or tanks, the purchased oil will be placed in storage in the U.S. Under a recent deal with the U.S., Australia has access to this storage for an initial period of 10 years. In the future, the country plans to create suitable conditions for storage and apparently move the oil to the continent. Not enough oil. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve of the U.S. was filled to its maximum capacity of 727 million barrels of oil in 2009, but since then, a lot has changed. In 2020, excess oil couldn't fit in there, but by 2022, they started pumping out oil out of the reserve. As a result, by 2024, the reserves were nearly half empty, inflation, rising gas prices. In just a couple of years, the fastest withdrawal of oil in the history of observations occurred. Today, it holds 367 million barrels, and this is causing a lot of outrage from almost everyone, especially from politicians. Let's add hydrogen. They've already tried storing oil and gas and salt, so why not take it a step further? The huge size of the Fischl Salt Dome, a geological formation on the west coast of Newfoundland, could play a key role in the transition to green energy. They suggest storing hydrogen there. As usual, the dome is a thick mound of natural salt deposits surrounded by layers of rock. If you build a storage facility inside, similar to those for oil but filled with hydrogen, it could become one of the largest green energy storage sites in the eastern part of North America. The plan is for the storage facility to be as big as the Empire State Building, or even larger, which is especially good given the growing global interest in more eco-friendly energy sources. Hydrogen can be used as a transport fuel in industrial settings and for electrification. Cavern of Wonders Another oil storage facility was created in India, in the city of Visakhapatnam, and it's a cavern with a total storage capacity of about 36 million barrels. This is one of several storage sites in the country, and nearby there's also the first cave in South and Southeast Asia for storing liquefied petroleum gas. Its volume is smaller, only 440,000 barrels, but it's one of the deepest caverns in the world. The lowest point is 643 feet below sea level. See you Wait, did you hit the like button? See you later.